Hi everybody, welcome to another Premier Guns video and today we've got something extremely special to show you. So what we've got here is we've got the brand new Beretta SL2 competition gun. Uh, what's even more exciting is this is the initial launch edition of this new premium competition gun which we're going to be seeing in the UK certainly later on in 22, possibly early 2023. This is the first time the gun has been reviewed certainly that I can find apart from the initial launch video that Bretta did back in December 2021 and we're going to tell you all about it, how special it is, what makes it so special and exciting and how you can get your hands on this particular one with a bit of an added extra. So the SL2 is the, um, the culmination of the SL3 game gun in terms of the way the lock appears with the boss style mechanism and the world beating, world famous DT11 competition gun, which is available in um, trap specification, sporting and skeet. So what Bretta are doing is they're taking their competition guns to the next level and the result of that is this, which is the SL2. So the SL3, which is the game version, was launched back about 2018 and since then it's really, really grown in momentum when people realise the technology and the features that are behind this gun and how it compares to a lot of um, continental but also English manufacturers and how affordable it is at a certain price point. So, like I said, the SL2 is kind of um, modelled on that, it's the clay version of it. So whereas with a standard Bretta Silver Pigeon, you would have a game version which would have a narrower rib and an auto safety, and then you have the Sporter which should be a bit heavier, wider rib, manual safety, etc. This is kind of um, the competition brother to the SL3. So, as far as I'm aware, like I say, this gun isn't going to be available in standard specification until at very early end of this year, possibly start of next year. But as a special launch edition, Bretta have manufactured 50, which look exactly like this, this is one of them, okay? 50 launch edition models for the whole world. Now, in the UK, I believe there is less than 10, eight or nine, I understand, and we have been extremely lucky to get our hands on this one. It's only available for Bretta Premium dealers, which of course we are, and this particular one's number 21 of 50. So, along with the, the chance to own a very, very special gun, because it's not out yet, you also get the, um, the opportunity to be right at the, the top of top of the tree, if you like, whereby you've got something that no one else has got and is extremely special. So, just now have a look at the gun to start with, take it apart, and I'll go through the features. And as with everything Beretta, the money and the time they put into R&D and the little changes that they've made, you know, everything about this gun is really a wow for me. So, I mean, I shoot a DT11, have done for years, would never change it. For me, it's the best competition gun uh, that money can buy. Having said that, this is the next level. But then again, it is a premium version with a lot more features compared to a DT11. Uh, if you look on the various social media platforms since when this gun was launched, um, some of the Beretta sponsor shooters on the Olympic disciplines have already been shooting prototypes of this gun, which you may recognize from the, the, uh, the shape of the action. So we'll start off with the barrels. Like I said, it's the same as the SL3. It's got the boss style locking mechanism and the idea behind that that is the same as they use on the SO series, SO9, SO10, etc., which let's not forget are handmade um, side lock shotguns. And the idea behind that is it's for maximum durability. It's the way that the, the lumps lock up in the action so it does not move. You know, these guns are designed to shoot, you know, hundreds of thousands of cartridges and it just adds to the longevity um, that, uh, that that sort of boss style lockup mechanism will give you. Steelium Pro barrels, which as you will find these on the DT11, extremely smooth to shoot, 480 mil forcing cones, which means you will not find a smoother shooting shotgun. And what they've done with uh, these particular barrels is um, they've, they've actually changed something a little bit on the, on the rib. So it's got your standard 10 by eight sporting rib, which is hand file cut, and they've gone a bit retro and they've gone back to the, the red strip foresight bead of the 80s and the 90s, which you know I quite like. I would imagine it's quite popular on the continent. And let's not forget, with only 50 of these available worldwide, there's not gonna be many countries that have got a quantity of them. 
Like I said, this is the only 32 inch Porter that I'm aware of currently in the UK, um, which is exciting for us. It's the only one we're gonna get. So this is why I wanted to talk about it and tell you, tell you how special it was. So Steelium Pro barrels, and although we've got the, the, um, the blue protective tape on here, which tends to be the, the norm these days with Beretta, if you look at the action, you can see how glossy the barrels will be with the tape removed. Now this is the DLC uh, diamond-like carbon finish that Beretta have sorted, uh, sort of adopted recently. They've been using it on the, the limited edition DT1131 inch. They now use it on a lot of their chokes. And this is a coating that's used in the military and it is super, super, super resistant, very hard wearing, very abrasive. And the claims are that you know things like acid from your fingers won't affect it, so it's almost impervious to rust. Which, you know, in terms of coatings, we've come a long way with um, with shotgun going back to traditional rust bluing, and now we've come to, to stuff like this where essentially it won't and shouldn't rust. So that coating there is on the trigger guard, um, the the sides of the action and the barrels. And I think Bretta's idea behind that is it's all the bits and pieces that you're gonna to touch. Whereas, you know, the um, the rest of it, not so much. Also, there's a there's a non-glare, uh, glare resistant coating on the top lever and on the, on the rest of the action. And I believe Bretta have got the top lever so low, such a low profile, that the idea is that the, um, the vision of the target is never affected even when you're breaking the gun. So again, it's just more innovation from Beretta, more development, because I've said this time and time again, when you are redesigning and remanufacturing a shotgun, it's a bit like re, you know, reinventing the wheel because they work in a certain way. So you have to look at different balancing systems and different coatings and things. And Beretta, I've absolutely got this gun right. So I'm just gonna pop it together. So we've talked about the, the coatings on the action. It's got a detachable trigger group, as per the DT11. Okay, you can really feel that boss lock up when you close it up. So detachable trigger group, which Beretta first, well, became famous in the, in the 80s with the ASE to be fair. So everything um, that can and would, or shouldn't, go wrong in that shotgun, is encased in the detachable trigger group. You've got your firing pins, your springs, um, your hammers, etc. Sorry, not your, not your pins, everything else. And with this being aimed at world level competition shooters, they're going all around the world. They don't need to carry a spare gun, they just carry a spare trigger group. Of course, um, even for general club level shooters that currently shoot DT10s, DT11s, etc. It's a great little bit of kit because you can go shooting, you can take it out and the gun is essentially safe and also from a maintenance point of view, it's an excellent piece of kit. With this particular gun, with it being the launch edition, better pull out all the stops and you actually get two trigger groups. So you get the steel one, as I've just shown you, and this one, how cool is that? That is completely carbon fiber. So I don't know what that thing costs, but it will be an awful lot of money. Same trigger group, apart from the material. So you've got your standard steel one with a high polished DLC trigger group, trigger guard, sorry, with a steel group. And that one is completely carbon fiber. How cool is that? So I just put the trigger group back in, which again, if you've not seen how to do, check out my video. Okay. Okay, just goes back in there. And while on the subject of that, again, because we talk about this gun being a limited edition, this is 21 of 50 worldwide. It's number 21 on the bottom of the action. It's number 21 on the side of the, um, the top of the action. So it's got the word limited edition. Has a lot of attention to detail with this. And that is the reason it's gonna make somebody extreme, well, 50 people worldwide extremely happy. So done the trigger group, done the coatings. Um, we've also got to talk about the acid green graphics. Uh, you might love it, you might hate it. I think it goes really, really well with the high gloss black finish. So you've got SL2 in, uh, in acid green, you've got the Beretta Trident logo in the bottom. And also, if we have a quick look at the case. So this is a, this is a standard Negrini style case, which um, is available with the SL2. Looks like a Lamborghini interior. 
got the Bretta logos, SL2, and a lot of a lot of cool stuff going on, but I'll come back to that in a second. But if you look at the, the contrast and the, the way it matches up with the acid green on the gun and the case, again, I think it's really smart, really modern looking, you know, really innovative. So back to the gun, um, the stock. So as we've seen with the, the 694, Bretta have come up with this idea about um, improved vision and what they've done is they've sort of lowered the profile of the stock. With the 694, you've got the grooves. It is a different shape. Um, I, you know, I've mounted this shotgun two or three times. Yes, it does, it, it, you know, it does do what it says on the tin. Though the, the stock itself is um, high grade class four European walnut. Um, this is, as you can see, a particularly nice piece of walnut, quite tight in the radius with a little bit of a palm swell. Factory balance, as you would imagine, balances exactly on the hinge pin. It is quite heavy, it comes in at just under nine pounds. And I think the reason behind that is I think this is designed to appeal to people that shoot bigger, heavier guns. And the one that would spring to mind will be the Kriegoff. I think it will be a direct competitor to the Kriegoff when it's launched in its standard form, because I believe the price point will also be similar. New four end design, not again, not the similar to 694, only the difference is the schnabel goes the other way. Got the groove in the middle, like a beaver tail. Everyone that watches this channel knows I love a beaver tail four end. So I'm pleased about that. And that in essence is the gun. So now we're gonna move on to the little bits and pieces that come with it. And then we're gonna talk about how you can get your hands on this particular gun and how special we can make it for you. So inside the SL2 case, we've got what I thought was a chocolate bar, but it's not. It's a little stand, okay? And as with each individual gun, you will get this very smart. Congratulations card, you've got the number on there again, 21. So again, attention to detail. There's only 50 of these worldwide. Everyone who owns one of these wants to feel special and they're gonna absolutely feel special with this gun. And inside you've got the details of the gun, some stuff in Italian which says thank you and a, a little, little plaque as well. And this little plaque slots in to that with SL2. How cool is that? Now I understand as well as this sort of more practical um, Bretta case, there's also gonna be a handmade leather one with it. And the handmade leather ones, as per the SL3 cases, are actually manufactured in the um, in the factory in Italy. They've got a case to tell you where they make them there. Okay, so I'll just put that up there so you can have a, have a look at that. So I've talked about this particular gun, and um, for those that are aware of the Premier Guns VIP experience, that is when we offer you the opportunity to go to the Bretta factory in Italy and have a gun completely custom made particularly from the point of view of the stock. So it's custom dimensions to your specifications. And what we're including with this SL2 launch edition is that. So we'll get a full expenses paid trip to the factory um, with some Premier Guns representatives. Dave Beersmore, who is a world-class um, double world champion, will do the fitting along with a Beretta stock maker. And as a result of it, you will not only get a gun that is extremely special, in terms of its rarity and its desirability, but it will also be tailor-made to you. Um, just a case in point of that, this gun is available for export. It's not a problem to get one all over the world. We do it all the time. And just to recap, this will be custom stock to your requirements. So we will literally start from a blank piece of wood and it will be the right length, the grip shape, the height, absolutely everything. And in addition, you will see the Beretta factory, the engraving studio, you'll meet the people at Beretta. We'll put you in a nice hotel for two days on the lake, four star hotel, everything is included. So this gun is very special. It's paving the way for the SL2 competition gun, which we're hoping to see soon, which will be a more affordable version. Having said that, this is a special gun. Beretta don't make them any limited editions, and when they do, they are usually 100 pieces, 250 pieces. This is 50 pieces, okay? If you go anywhere in the world, you might find a country that's got three. We've got a 32-inch Sporter. You can have it completely custom stocked to your requirements. Uh, that pretty much covers it. We've talked about, I believe, the gun in a reasonable amount of detail. Any question you've got, Please like and uh, like and subscribe to the channel, comment below, drop us an email, give us a call, whatever you need to do. 
Brer SL2 launch edition, really, really special gun. If you can get your hands on one, absolutely do it. Thanks for watching, see you soon.